Hey everyone, Giselle here, and today I'm here to show you some ways that I style the back of my head. To start out this style, this particular style, I just put my hair in a front swoop and then put my hair in two little faux victory rolls that I showed in part two of this series of videos. And so this is what it looks like from the back, and I'm going to show you a super, super easy style that kind of takes these and puts them all over the back of your head, and it's really quite cute, and I'm excited to show it to you guys. So. That's what we're gonna do now. So I don't use a mirror for this when I do it on myself usually, but you can definitely use a mirror if you feel more comfortable using one to start out. But I just take a section of hair up from the top. You can make them as big or as small as you want, how depending on how large you want the sections to be. But I'm just taking um, practically just the section coming out from underneath here. And as you can see, half of it is made up of the hair straight from here. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm just going to do little faux victory rolls like these ones, but all over the back of my head. So I'm just going to twist it and pin it straight to my head like this. So I just stick two fingers in and twist it around, and then I'm just going to pin it. And when I pin these, I stick a pin in and just push it straight down from the top, and then I'll take another pin from usually the other side, and I'll put it into the side and then push it straight through so that you're getting hair from underneath and then hair from the other side as well. Obviously the section of hair that I just grabbed has a little tail as well, but we'll come back to that tail and I'm gonna grab another section of hair, this time from the other side, and I'm just gonna pin. It does not matter which way these curls are going if you are wondering if you should put the tails going under the same way every time. It doesn't matter. Uh, the more, the more randomly you do it, the more spontaneous it will look pinned rather than structured and all going in the same way. So it's really your call, but I just do it random because I like it best like that. So that is my next pin, and then I'm just going to take another section of hair just randomly and twist that and you can overlay these as well. If you overlay them then they will cover up where bits are coming out and stuff and uh, it works best if you overlay them. And then I'm going to take this bit of hair and take some more hair and add it to it and just keep going down my head like this. And then the last section of hair is the only section that I do differently. So the last section of hair is the only section that I'm going to do differently because there's only a little bit left and then if I just keep doing it then there'll just be a little tail left of rosettes and you can do one more and then do this step which I think I'm actually going to do. So I'm going to do one more and just pin it on top of some others already. And then this last little section I'm just going to take it and roll it around my fingers into another last little rosette and I'm going to pin it to my hair. If you have a shorter hair than mine or have been left with a smaller tail than mine, like a stubby little one, you could also like tuck it underneath and just pin it and that would be also acceptable but since my tail is very long and I could technically make another rosette with it but don't feel like it, I'm just gonna make this weird little rosette. And there you go, that is hairstyle. Um, number one, it's really, really simple, and then after I do this, then I usually grab a mirror and then use it to look at the back of my hair in the bathroom, and then we'll pin in any little stray bits or any wonky or funky looking bits, but then it's just really nice and it's really, really fast. That only took me a couple of minutes, and my hair is quite long, so if your hair is shorter, then it could be easier and f faster as well. If you have less hair than me, you can also start this further down and you can also just do it on one side pull hair over 
and just do it on one side and just have a side bun of rosettes and there's just so many ways you can do this hairstyle so that's number one and then I forgot to show as well but that is a really cute hairstyle with a headscarf and so is this one with just the rosettes it's a really cute hairstyle actually just as it is and just having your hair down or you could have it curled as well and then another cute way that you could do your hair you can also get kind of an Edwardian style out of this as well if you wanted to you could curl the side section and then just have it trailing down maybe pin it back I'm just grabbing a fairly large section of hair and I'm just pulling it over to the side and I'm just gonna pin it and then I'm gonna grab the same section of hair like that on the other side and I'm just gonna wrap it forward and pin it on top of that and then all you would need to do right here is just curl this section of hair Victorian hair curl thing going right here I'm not gonna curl my hair right now though because I don't feel like it so <laughs> that's a nice way that you can do your hair as well there's just so many things you can do if you start with this base of front sections that it's just incredible in one of my vlogs I did show how I was able to do a really quick just easy hair twist thing and I'm gonna show that right here but I'm gonna do it with huge sections of hair because I don't want it to take very long but basically you just grab a section of hair as big as it or as small as you want and you just twist it straight down to the bottom of your hair and then you're gonna grab your fingers about halfway through and pull the top up and then keep twisting and then just twist it up and pin that into a little knot on your head and then I'm gonna grab another section of hair and twist that all the way down And again for this hairstyle, it does not matter which direction you're twisting in because the more ways that you do it, the diff more different it will look and the more loose it will look. And then again, you would find any sections that are coming out that don't look good. But then this would be a really nice time if you have any sets of little flowers to just pin them. And that is a really fast hairstyle that took me like two minutes to do because I used such large sec large sections that looks really fancy and like you spent a lot of time on your hair trying to make it look nice. The next hairstyle that I'm going to show you, you just need a rubber band for. Mine is kind of stretched out but you're just going to pull all your hair over to one side and you're going to pull your hair through until the ends and then twist it around and then pull through until the ends and do that a couple times. and. You're just going to be left with this ridiculous mess of hair. And then from here, you're just going to pin it to the side of your head. And you're going to get a nice um, messy bun from the, on the side of your head right there. That is quite cute in my opinion. I'm just holding it and pinning randomly. And I'm just going to keep pinning until it feels secure. And then this hairstyle is the one that I feel like can get the most uncomfortable or be the most slippery and fall out more easily so also you're very welcome to just put any kind of old flower in and any place that you like and it looks really cute almost anywhere but I feel like if you have a textured hair this is better but if you have slippery hair it will probably fall out really really quite quickly and, and this hairstyle is also really nice if you don't have your hair pulled back like this and you just want to incorporate all the hair into it and just take the hair and twist it straight down and then put it in a ponytail that turns out really nice as well I can demonstrate what I mean in a minute there are endless hairstyles that I could show you for the back section of your hair because there are so many that I use daily but since I don't want this video to be excruciatingly long I'm just gonna show you one more the last hairstyle that I'm going to show you is just a really really quick bun with sharks and you're just going to take your hair and it's just going to be the tr traditional ballet bun but it's really nice to get your hair off your neck and I my ballet buns never stay in if I use the hair tie and they always end up looking really stupid so screw those and you're instead you're just going to clip around the sides I got these clips about eight of them for a dollar at my Dollar Tree and they're very inexpensive and they keep your hair in like a champ. I would not do this bun with this particular hairstyle. I would pull my hair back instead of in the rosettes to do this but whatever you feel like because it's your hair and you can do whatever style with it 
you choose. To quickly show you guys what I mean about the messy bun on the side, I could twist it in and then pull my hair back and then stick my hair in the ponytail and that is quite a nice look as well. And then you would continue pinning it but it looks really nice from the front like that and you can stick a less dramatic swoop if you're kind of going for a more casual but nice looking bun as well so all right so that's it for today's video i may do a part four in the future of more back styles because there are like four more that i want to show you guys right off the top of my head but this videos are going to be already going to be way too long as it is so i hope you guys enjoyed these videos and i will see you possibly in part four if you guys want it Bye, everyone.